Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. If you are coming here for the first time, do subscribe to my channel. Press the like button if, you, if my videos are making sense to you. And do watch my website. Just see that orange rectangle over there. That's my website, dancingwithdata.com, where I blog on data analytics. It can be Tableau, it can be Power BI, so forth and so on. Yes, I'm starting with Tableau. So with Tableau, if you see, this is a simple bar chart, horizontal one, where I can directly get the grand total, right? which is something not there in Power BI. What I mean to say is, if I go to analysis, I go to totals, uh, this was the original form, but if I want to have the grand total, I can go to total and I can say sh show column grand total and I get the grand total. Uh, now, that's not the case with Power BI. So you will not have that direct option or the default option. You can't, you cannot just navigate anywhere to enable the grand total over there, which is a bit unfortunate Be because they do have grand total when it comes to the cross tab form. For example, if I just turn this to or duplicate this to cross tab, uh, that form is there with Power BI that I will show you. So this is there with Power BI, not the other way. So right now I'm in Power BI and now you can see the cross type thing is perfect. This is pretty much similar or in line with uh, Tableau. So if I go to Tableau, this is same, right? And maybe I just turn to the entire view. So you see that the, the number is same and everything looks fine, pretty much similar, right? So we are not in an, any sort of trouble. But once I turn the same visualization to a chart and here you go. Now you don't see that total, right? And there is no easy way to get that one. My head did this spin for the first time when I saw that and I was like, what? Why it is not there? Because it, it was there with the cross tab form, right? So, or in the table form. So you can, you could have uh, got that, that one there as well, but it's not there. Well, to get that overall total bar, first of all, we need to create a total table which is nothing but union between the distinct order region in this case with total. So you will have central, east, west and south and one more uh, field will be there named as total. Or This will be a table actually. So this expression will come under the new table. Just remember that. Now you have to hit data and check whether the new table has come up properly or not. So we see, see that we have central, east, south, and one more element or say one more row as total. That's what we wanted. Now let's move back to the report. Now this is the time to hit the data model and create the relationship between the new table and order table. So this one to many relationship will be set, will be set between these two tables over there. That means for one particular region, you will have multiple orders. So that's why one to many relationship. Now let's go back to the visual of the report. So if you see our visual over here, region is coming from the total table, whereas sales is coming from orders. So if I turn that bar chart to cross tab, it will look like this. And if I remove sales from the equation over there, now you will see uh, the missing element over there. That is total. Because there are no corresponding region named as total. So you don't, you won't get any sales for the same. Let me bring the sales element again back. Here you go. Don't get confused with that uh, total and this total, please. This is the by default total that you get with the table visual over there. Now let me turn this back to a bar chart. So if I go to my visualization, stack chart. Now again, back to the business. So basically the logic is, we need to get rid of this sales field over there. And as we know, there is no corresponding values for the elementary all or the total in this case. So we will write a brand new DAX expression 
that will help us to get the overall total now that's the tax expression that we would like to write and which says that variable amount is sum of order sales okay so we are giving the variable amount is equal to sum of order sales and return if is blank amount if this amount is blank that will be in the case of total then what to do then calculate if the amount is blank then calculate sum of order sales all orders so if you remember please watch my all uh, video series uh, from there you can get more idea but all will remove all the present filter all the present filter context at your visualization so in other simple words when you say calculate sum of order sales all orders that means it will ignore all the partitions on the way and it will give you the overall aggregate of the sales or say total sales and that's what we were looking for but when it should throw now watch the formula watch the text expression that you first of all your variable amount is equal to sum of order sales now that simple return if is blank well in the case of total it will be blank because there is no region as named as total so in in that case so technically speaking this region is coming from total table so it will have total internally but that is having null value because there is no corresponding region uh, named as total so if you are in if you are in that very particular situation then it says that if is blank amount then calculate this that means it will ignore the present filter context and it will give you overall total sales from top to bottom i'm talking about this arrow so whenever it is blank in in this case or say null or blank whatever then it should be it should throw the overall sales from top to bottom right that's the funda otherwise you get the amount if it is not blank then you get the simple amount which is nothing but the sum of order sales and hence for central east west and south it, it it's regular you get this very particular amount but as soon as it hit the total or as soon as it gets the null then in that case yes the amount is blank for because there is no region as total then what it will do it will calculate sum of order sales all orders means it will move from top to bottom and give you one single value over there that is the total sales so now in the last step we will have to remove this sales from our visualization and we'll have to re-enter or enter total sales measure which is this particular tax expression or or say dex <laughs> dex is itself an expression so let's do it okay bring it on now here itself you can see right as soon as i enter total sales over there i'm in a position to get the total sales which is nothing but the correct now we can compare this with tableau or now we can even remove the old sales over there and we got it with tableau the grand total is at the bottom so let us try to replicate that at the power ba as well for that you'll have to go to these three dots over there and say sort axis instead of descending you will say ascending and here you go so i hope you really like this video and if you did like hit the like button subscribe share because jo soya wo khoya please do not forget to check the links below the corresponding links and the uh, dex or say data analysis expression that we have used over here to get the total over there personally i feel it little unnecessary to create a table and then create the relationship and create this bar especially when you already have that with uh, the cross tab or the table form so in this case i would give tableau an extra point because here you have that with the cross tab and you have that with the total sales as well and the numbers are same 8951931 and uh, 8951931 on on that note i would like to say goodbye keep on dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko so